Good morning and a good afternoon and a good evening. Hello, Face Yogis. How are you? It's Sumika. So before we start, I want to make sure you can hear me and see me okay, especially right here, my neck. Don't worry, I just draw this muscle platysma so that you can see what's going on on my neck because I want to talk about the neck area today, okay? All right, so you can see me and hear me okay and my drawing, right? Good, right? So I want to start with asking a questions. Which is your most persistent wrinkles? Neck and the face area. Just think about that, okay? And when was the first time you noticed those wrinkles? When was it? Well, when do you see more, you know, throughout the day? Sometimes you see more wrinkles in the morning or afternoon, or the first thing in the morning. So think about that, okay? And then third one, how are you dealing with those wrinkles? Are you doing something special? Are you doing face yoga poses? Are you putting creams and uh, doing some treatment? Think about that, okay? Because I want to see the big picture of how you get those wrinkles and how you can prevent or how you can reduce them. But before we go into that, I really want you to think a little big picture, not just to focus on like, oh, I want to get rid of it, okay? Um, why I draw a little <laughs> strange thing here on my neck, because I just want to go to neck today. We often just focus on that problem, right? Oh, I got wrinkles. And neck area, for example, it's easy for me to explain today because it's such a big part of the face. Um, I, I believe it. this is a face, not just here, but this is a face. Um, when you see horizontal lines on your neck area, I guarantee these are caused by not just because of the age, but many things. Sleeping, side to sleep, that can cause horizontal line on the neck, especially one side. If you're wearing, if you're using a pillow, very high pillow, that cause wrinkles, the front part right here, also double chin too. If you're talking on the phone very often or tilting your head, I guarantee that side of the shoulder is higher and the neck is tense on the side. Did that make sense? Let's do it this way. Can you see that? So when I, like when I do this, when I pretend I'm talking on the phone, this, see that? The wrinkle right here, that's what I'm talking about. And to see my shirt, okay? If I do this all the time, see that shirt, I have more horizontal, see? wrinkle on my shirt on this side and then see that length on my shoulder from here to here here to here this side is shorter you know, make sense so um when i see people just even on the street i can tell right away the person is sleeping on the side or the person is probably tilting their head often or using a phone one side and then many times i can even tell if the person's you know, having more wrinkles on the side, that side on the face shows more signs of side sleeping, or I can even tell the person's hip is tight on the other side, on this side. Can you, can you see that? Like big picture, I see the person's life almost by just looking at the neck. It's very fascinating. And the people always say, how do you know? Right? Well, because it shows here. And how about pushing right here? How's the pain here? How's the pain here? How's the tightness right here? Oh yeah, you sleep on the side and boom. Yeah, solution is like approaching life from big picture. So why the surface level of the treatment does not work? We often go straight to the quote unquote solution, right? If you have a wrinkle, let's say neck wrinkle or eye area. Oh, let's get the eye cream. Let's get a facial done. Oh, let's uh, put the um, neck uh, cream on the neck so that you, know, you see results. Yes, they can be a solution. You know, it's treating the problem that can be a solution. But we need to find out what is actually causing. Otherwise, you get just a band-aid on the solution. And maybe the band-aid works at the beginning, but it's not going to help you to see the long-term result. Did that make sense? 
So the best way to tackle the wrinkle, whatever you have wrinkle, you know, the concern you have is not just going that problem, but we need to go outside and inside, which is cause and a solution, right? And like I said, cream is great. But if you are going to go to bed and sleep on a side always and tilting your head all the time, and what happened throughout the years, over and over and over and over, over, that can create not just a wrinkle on the neck, it can create asymmetry, not only the asymmetry, the tightness on the hip, and the tightness of the hip can cause knee issue. And then, you know, everything, like you said, everything is connected. I often say that everything is connected, head to toe. That can really create the problem in the long run. And then face yoga method, you know, poses a great, but if you combine being aware of the cause of the issue, putting the skincare, I truly believe skincare is important. Skincare and then lifestyle, bam, you get amazing result. Am I making sense? Okay. And also the mindset. I often say face yoga is not just exercising the face. It's a lifestyle. It's a mindset. How you see yourself too. If you hold a same thought for 17 seconds, which is very difficult, by the way, we often think one thing and then jump into another thing and the thoughts just move so fast. But if you can hold a thought for 17 seconds, you started producing a chemical in a body accordingly, according to the thoughts you have, you start believing it. So for example, if you're looking down all the time, like okay, see that, see the horizontal line I'm talking about? right? Holding this position for 17 seconds. What you're telling yourself is, oh, I'm just stressed out. I'm not happy. I have a lot to do versus looking up and chest open, heart open. Why? Because when you have a chest open, heart open posture for more than 17 seconds, your body started feeling like that. Your body start feeling like, I don't know why, but I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good. That's why we're talking about. That's the importance of mindset and a connection. Not only that, see, I see less wrinkle. Even like looking down like this, see the double chin versus nice posture, good posture and looking straight or chin slightly up. It's amazing how little things can change us even the mindset. You don't see people who are so depressed and unhappy and have this like, I'm so depressed. Oh, I'm so depressed. I'm so depressed, depressed. When you do this, your body starts feeling a little strange because wait a minute, I'm saying depressed, but my posture doesn't say the same thing. Yeah, you're switching it. So when you have the same thoughts and the same body posture, facial expressions, yeah, the results are not just double, multiply the result you're looking for. Yes, face yoga method pose is great, but I really want to go back. I can't emphasize enough. Go back to the cause of it, that whatever the concern you have, think about it. When do you start noticing? All right, so let's do the pose together. Um, the wrinkle, when you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Let's see the fabric. Okay, I have a towel right here. Okay, if you fold it many, many times, same way, or like hold it for a long time, like the same posture, what happened? You can see wrinkle, the same thing, going over and over. But, okay, this was fold already. But if I just fold this towel quickly, okay, look at this, yeah, bend, and I'm bring back. You don't see that versus like this, see, it's already there. But when you wash it and fold it again differently, yep, that's gonna stay there. So when you are aware how you're doing and when you can stop that continuing habits, you can have a wrinkle. It's so simple. And I'm not saying that never use your face muscle, never do anything like this. I do it when I talk, but I'm so aware after using my forehead too much, like, okay, go back to relax mode. Let's do tapping. Or if I'm looking down, sometimes I have to look down things, right? When I'm focusing, when I'm cooking. And then, okay, let's do the counter pose to release attention and then smooth out. 
that wrinkle I created temporary or even semi permanently. Okay, so we're gonna do the pose together, but I really want you to feel and I want you to see. That's why I draw um, right here my platysma, very thin muscle. This muscle actually goes much higher and then goes even under the second rib. But I just wanted to draw from here to here so that you can see easily. Okay, so color bomb. And then if you want to feel it a little bit together with me, I want you to put the fingers right here, the center of the collarbones right here. Okay, and I pull this down slightly. Pull this. Okay, now turn your neck. Turn your neck. Let's go a little bit more to turn your neck. When you turn your neck, do you feel this platysma movement? This thin muscle move. Did you feel that? Okay. That's a muscle we're going to walk on. And then when you turn and the chin up, do you feel more? You feel that? That's how you want to do the pose. Okay. And now a little bit pucker your mouth slightly. Do you feel more? Do you feel more of this muscle moving? That's what we're going to do. That's the pose. Swan neck, okay? Go slow, let's do slowly, and I want you to fully feel it. It's not like just moving, no, no, no. I've seen some of the practitioners sometimes go do, move the shoulder together. It doesn't make sense. When you move the shoulder together, you don't get the most benefit. Another thing is we have a many, um, what, 18 years ago, there's nobody doing a face yoga, but now there's so, so many people who are, um, kind of, you know, doing a similar one and they called it face yoga. So make sure when you follow those people, um, I want to follow me. I want you to follow me. But if you want to know more about, and then you started following somebody, make sure the person's trained by um, a face yoga method certification course, because sometimes I see people doing the pose wrong, like, oh, oh, that's so wrong. Okay. All right. So let's put the hands on the shoulder because I want you to start with a good posture. If you have a shirt or, you know, t-shirt, a shirt, anything, make sure that you have everything evenly, yeah, at the same level. If you always have a shirt on one side, it's not the shirt, it's your shoulder creating that asymmetry, okay? So hands on the shoulder, same level, okay? Now, don't move your shoulder, don't turn or twist your body. Move your gaze 45 degree angle. Don't wrinkle your forehead. Now, move your face the same direction. 45 degree angle. Now, do you feel that? Don't turn your shoulder in. Keep the shoulder same level and the chin up and pack your mouth. Ooh, that's a swan neck. Ooh, that's one we want you, I want you to feel. Okay? One, two, three, four, five and come out. Did you feel that? Okay. Did you see the movement on my platysma? Another thing is that, um, why people ask me why you have to pucker your mouth. Let's find out why. Okay. I'm going to do it again. Hands on the shoulder, same level and look at 45 degree angle and then move your chin and a puck. Oh, don't pucker your mouth yet. Okay. Do you feel it? It's yeah, it's still good, right? Now, pack your mouth very slowly, as if you're trying to kiss somebody who is taller than you are. Do you feel that? Do you see my movement? Platysma. That's what we were aiming. That's why I want you to pack your mouth. It's not just like randomly I created the pose. Okay? You feel the difference. Let's do the other side to even out. Okay, here you go. Let's do it. Yes, you can see me and hear me. Okay, yeah, good, good. All right, let's do it again. Okay, hands on the shoulder and make sure you're short and the same. Okay, good. Turn, look, look at 45 degree angle, turn and chin up and then imagine you up puckering the mouth so that you're really feeling the sensation on the platysma side of the neck. You feel it? One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you don't wrinkle your forehead and come out. How is it? Do it again. Now without puckering the mouth and just see and feel the difference. Not bad, but let's add puckering. Ooh, I feel it. Ooh, I feel it. One, two, 
three, don't move your shoulder, four, five, and come out. Keep the neck nice and long. That is a key also. Uh, that's not right. Okay, nice and long. And alignment, your ear, I want you to have your ear, just same line as your shoulder. So this happened to many people, that's not right. And when you do the uh, swan neck with this position, you might even hurt the back, at the back of your head, at the back of your neck, okay? So ear and shoulder, same line, and then do the a swan neck. It makes a huge difference, all right? So I hope you understand face yoga is not just exercising the face muscles. Like, no, it's not. And it is a reason why I ask you to paka your mouth. Everything has a reason. I create it, you know, in so many ways that why you do the certain pose. It's not just sticking a tenor. Uh -huh. No, it's not just packing your mouth. No, it's not just turning the body. No, it's not just, you know, looking up. No, there's a reason. It's not like, oh, move your gaze first. There's a reason for all of this, okay? And then, yes, it's a quick and easy and effective to start. You know, you can have great benefit just by doing this one, even just one pose. And a committing is key to you can expect you know because we did the pose together you can expect that tomorrow you're going to have nice jawline or smooth neck no it's just a me time that you have to commit that means that you are committing yourself your life because every single decision you make right now this moment right create your life let's think about it Every small decision you have made in your life up to this point, create who you are right now or life you have right now. Instead of um, buying that car, you bought this car. Instead of marrying to this person, you marry this person. Instead of like little small things. Instead of having the donuts, you decided to eat healthy. Instead of soda, you decided to drink hot water. How do you feel inside? And then the more you pay attention to your small decision you make, the more you really feel like you're owning your life. And that's how you ignite that spark. I know within you. And when you know this is my life, when you say confidently, when you feel confidently, that changed your life. That's why I said change your life, change your, change your face, change your life. Did it make sense? It's not like, oh, let's change your face and your life is going to be different. No, you have to own it. You have to pay attention to your life and then your thoughts and then commit. And that's when the change comes. So announcement, tomorrow we start the first ever 15-day wrinkle away challenge. Yes, 15-day wrinkle away challenge and the beginner face yogis this is really good for you because this challenge is daily and five minutes beginner friendly program and i don't ask you to do you know six weeks i don't ask i mean six weeks is great i love long program but this one is just perfect for new people who do not know much about it but also who do who are not quite sure how much they can commit and for the long time a long time practitioners go for it too why because it will kind of push you in a way that you know your mindset you can get the result in a short time you know what makes sense so anybody who wants to do and the fine time which we can 15 day for 15 days you know five minutes a day you can join and then you can do the poses anywhere and then anytime just five minutes your life in your time so easy and quick and also so fun i always said that the best place you can practice face yoga is in a bathroom why everybody goes bathroom you can have five minutes you can lock the door and then tell your, tell your family i need a bathroom break right and then many times i know people often tell me they don't have a time and they ended up using the phone, social media, more than five minutes. Why not spend that five minutes for yourself and then you feel good. And then not just from exercise, but knowing that you commit, you know, yourself to that me time and then that self value, self appreciation, self care, that really changed the way you 
see and the feel about yourself, right? And also think about it. These poses are so fun. I created all the poses, easy but also fun. Because if it's too complicated, if it's too serious, I think we lose the juice of life. I like to have fun. I want you to have fun. Because fun is so important. Smile is so important. And when we have fun, time goes by so fast. All right? And also, I do hope you enjoy doing this, I mean, this challenge as much as I enjoy creating it. Because like I said, face yoga is not exercise. It's a lifestyle. And I've seen so many people's transformation, people from all over the world. They often come to me say, thank you. My life is different. Not because of the poses I did, but because I changed the way I see and treat myself. Like, oh, that is really such a strong point. I want people to understand. And then sometimes people start practicing, seeing the result, and that changed the mindset. Like, I can change my face. I can reduce wrinkles. I can reduce tightness. My neck is feeling so much better. I can sleep so much better. And then that comes as a you know, life change journey. Do you make sense? That's why inside change is important as much as outside change. So we have all in a 50 day challenge, wrinkle away challenge. And we still have until midnight, you know, to join this challenge before the door closed. So we start tomorrow and I'm so excited and thank you so much for joining me today. And I put the link in the description and you can just go there and then join. And I can't wait to start this newest challenge with you, Face Yogis. I love you all and thank you again for joining me. And then I want you to feel the movement of the platysma I just showed you so that you feel like, ah, ah, now I know why I got these wrinkles. So. See a big picture and get the result you're looking for.